So in a recent stream, uh, Michael Rainey Jr., the power star, uh, was assaulted <laughs> on live. It has worked, the job has more than a million dollars. Yeah, I've never worked, I've never did nothing. Yeah, I literally have five minutes of max in here. Then y'all gotta get out, okay? Five minutes, you know how much five minutes is? Okay. Yeah. They've, no, they, they've never worked, you gotta think. They've never worked a job, but they can play with us. Yo, anybody need water? Anybody need water? No, we good, bro. Yeah, paper towels for them. Paper towels. Shut the fuck up. Man, what are you saying? Man, what are you saying? Where his sister um, is seemingly in the background uh, grabbing his um, private parts. Now, again, this is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And so fitting that we're having this conversation um, because he definitely looks uncomfortable. And uh, there are a lot of speculations around why is he smiling and, and why, why is, you know what I mean? Why is he not moving our hand and things of that nature? And I want people to understand something, whether it's a woman or a man, uh, people respond to tragedies and traumas uh, differently, okay? And again, he probably didn't want to upset the room. He probably didn't want to, even though people could see through the screen his face and things like that and how he was looking, but you know, he didn't want to upset the vibe and things like that. And also allegedly he left like 20 minutes later. He he hopped off stream and he left. He straight up left. Um so hope and hope I hope and pray that Michael is okay. Um, he did make a post saying that he's still dealing with it. He is still in shock by what has happened, what has transpired, and he's processing that. And again, no matter if it's a woman or a man, whenever there is a victim involved in something like this, they're going through shock. They're, they're trying to process like, yo, she or he really did that to me. He really assaulted me. And as that is like a tragedy that has happened, um, there's a couple of things I do want to talk about uh, because Ty did respond, and we're going to roll that clip. Chat, word of my mother, I'm trying to literally ignore this shit, mm -hmm. but I'm getting texts, the energy shifted, and niggas just got up and left. Like, all that shit really made me, like, all those side of that shit really made me feel away. Because one, when people come, this is your crib. It's about hospitality. That's, that means everything. Stop telling me to ignore it because I don't try to ignore it. Y'all dick riders was spamming it. That shit really got me really feeling the way because, bro, I be around celebrities all day. You feel what I'm saying? Like, even when I first started being my, my first few celebrities, don't get me wrong, I do unusual shit. No, no, no homo. Like, nothing crazy. Like, I be like, yo, like, I be trying to record, get a video, a picture, whatever. But due time, you feel what I'm saying? That shit don't really mean nothing to you. We all eat, we all the same. But she never seen somebody that caliber, so she start, you feel what I'm saying? And that's my sister, so, like, I'm not going to say nothing bad about it. I'm going to just check and tell her, like, you don't got to be on it. We all the same, we all human. If he's here for me, he's here for you. Family Sunday dinner shit every Sunday. You feel what I'm saying? I got people telling me, you got to be aware of who you have around when these type of people come. Why should I? We all equal. Now, let me say this. You being a celebrity as he is a celebrity does not put y'all in the same plane, big dog. Like, you're a Twitch streamer, which I'm not going to say less of you because you're a Twitch streamer. Um, but this guy is on power. This guy is on television. They're talking about this man way more than talking about you. And cool that you hang out with celebrities and that celebrities know you and things like that. I just want you to know you two are on two different power dynamics. Um, I'm just being real. Um, but also, that does not excuse your sister. You said something I thought was outrageous. Is that um, if they're here for me, they're here for you. That's not true. They only showed up because of Lil Ty or Ty Little, excuse me, uh, Ty Little. They showed up because of you. This is your stream. Um, you know what I mean? She does not. And again, I've, I've been around celebrities as well. I've gotten to meet Steve Harvey. I've gotten to meet Snoop Dogg. I've gotten to meet uh, a lot of a lot of women celebrities and things like that. I think I met like Keisha Cole once, uh, Sierra. Um, I got to meet uh, Holly Bailey um, during the event. I've never in my life thought, let me go grab her by her ass. I've never in my life thought to let me go grab up um, some celebrity. Let me go ask for a hug. Personally, I don't even like being touched myself. So I can only imagine how some of these celebrities 
who have to take all these different pictures and do all these different, have people touching on them all day. I can only imagine how they feel when, you know what I mean, some random person comes up and thinks that they can put their hands around them. You know what I mean? And men are no different. You know what I mean? This is a Michael Rainey has been famous for a while now. And he's, you're probably, she's probably not the first person to try to feel him up or try to feel on him or whatever the case may be. But the fact that there were children in the room, the fact that he was on live doing this, I mean, all of it was probably embarrassing to him. <laughs> and you, you put him in this space. Uh, there was another uh, point that I wanted to talk about too, and that was 50 Cent. 50 Cent also responded to this, and I didn't like his response either. Uh, where he was like sexual assault, question, like questioning whether that was sexual assault. 50 Cent, that was sexual assault. By nature, um, if, if you are touching somebody inappropriately without their consent, that is assault. That is sexual assault. If you are fondling their, their privacy parts and things of that nature, that is assault, sir. Um, a lot of uh, men I've also seen, and uh, you know, I had a guy in my comment section. Um, I've seen a lot of guys on like the Instagram comment sections talk about it where um, they're like, hey man, you know, is it is it really is it the uh, roles reversed or are we talking about this because he's a man? It doesn't matter. For some reason, in 2024, we still don't understand not only consent, but we don't understand that men also can experience that. Okay, I don't care if it's Brittany Renner. I don't care that she's you feel like she's ugly or whatever the case may be. I don't care if it's Brittany Renner. I don't care if it's the finest woman on earth. Okay. If you are touching a man inappropriately and he does not want you to touch him, that is assault. If you are touching him in his private parts, that is sexual assault, okay? So I don't care about none of that shit y'all talking about and stuff. And normally when men speak up about these issues, they're called gay, they're called everything under the sun, they're discredited. And to be discredited by men is even more shocking and it also um, stops men from speaking out because these men um, feel like, oh, men are not going to rob me either. So to see men also in the comment section, it's not even really women. Women are saying go, she should go to jail. She should be um, sue her, things of that nature. It's men in the comment section saying, no, I don't know about this one, player. I don't think that was sexual assault and things like that. And, to, and I don't know if people notice about 50 Cent. 50 Cent talks about being um, touched on um, by his relative, by a relative, not a random ass woman, a relative in his house. So what do you mean this is not a sexual assault? I don't understand. Um, and that's just my only point of this, man. I, I pray for uh, Michael Rainey Jr. Uh, when we talk about these issues, y'all want to talk about 50-50. I want to talk about real men issues. If you're going to talk about like uh, um, relationship dynamics and things like that, you got to start talking about consent. And you got to talk about men who also need to speak up when they are assaulted in this manner. I don't care if you look good or something like that. Chris Brown can look good or whatever the case may be. But I, if he came out and said, yeah, this woman just up and grabbed me out of nowhere. I don't know why y'all think that that's cool. Simply because they're women. That's not cool. Um, and that's just how I see it, man. So y'all have a great day, man. Peace.